Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the different ways in which you can utilize the help within the R. So the very first thing which you can do is to start the general help which is uh, something like help help dot start and that will kind of open up this uh, help uh, page in which you can go into uh, different manuals, references, miscellaneous material, and other information which is given in there. Apart from that, uh, this general search, you, you can also uh, use the question mark or the help function, in which you can specify the function or the method for which you are looking for a help. So question mark, which I have used in my previous videos also is synonym to the help function but because it is easy to use just you put the question mark and the search term for which you want to take the help so in this case I just entered apply so as soon as you enter apply it will going to show you this information same thing will going to happen when you will use the apply it's just that it is a bit lengthy same thing it will going to search like a question mark so apart from this uh, if uh, you are not sure that you are only looking for apply but also want to see um, the information other than apply uh, so what I mean is putting double question mark uh, this will going to search in all the packages where apply is present so if I just go ahead and put apply so this is going to take some time and here and every different package it has uh, found the apply word it will going to show the result to you now it is up to you which result makes sense for you should go ahead for that by the provided link so these are the two different two different ways uh, by which you can use the uh, help uh, function or the help uh, which is available here in the R. Now let's go ahead and see how you can uh, use uh, or see uh, the help related to apply function uh, which is related uh, to, its, to its name and not the entire list. So for that you can actually write appropros and then the name the search keyword. And then it will going to tell you what the all those functions relate that has the apply keyword. So L apply, M apply, all of these different methods functions in which you will find apply will going to display to you. And then if you want to know further about any of the one, you can simply go ahead put a question mark. And suppose I want to know more about M apply, then I will just do a question mark and M apply. And it will going to tell me very specific information so that's how you can drill down to your help to find a very specific information that you need after this uh, if you want some detailed information or something like an example related to the search keyword or the method that you are looking for then you can take an ex help of example command and in example you give a value of apply or any other search key term according to your requirement so once you put the question mark it will going to show you the different examples of apply in here so that's something you can go through and uh, see so this is they are basically saying that this is the apply uh, related example so they are declaring the object you know, the different methods that they are applying to give you the knowledge or give you the examples related to the apply function. So that's one other way to look at some of the detailed examples related uh, that that is available with the R Studio or R. After this let's see how you can do the uh, search or take and help from a site-wide search or from the archive mailing list. So for that you have the R site search function and then you can provide the value. This will going to open up the this search.r.org 
and will provide the value which you have provided and uh, then it will find the search result related to your query and then uh, based on the, the search term that you have provided you can go into any of this link which is more meaningful to you and get the help related to that so let's move on uh, to see the last uh, the second last thing i would say the vignettes so vignettes are nothing but uh, very detailed information or kind of a pdf document you can say uh, related to the search that you are trying or trying to find out so for that let's enter the vignette so if i'm not providing anything over here then it will going to list down all the vignettes or all the information uh, vignettes information that is available uh, with R studio or with the R packages I should say to be specific so here are uh, vignettes in different packages so in package color space it has HCL color through which you can see the different information or the detailed information related to HCL color so as I'm just showing you uh, vignettes in package grid you have a lot of information move lines so here is a small description but if I let's say for example want to find more about grid then I can just simply pass on the function or the pass on the value within the vignette function vig vignette and then I am saying grid as I'm saying grid it has opened a document in front of me so if I go to start so these are the grid graphics so it's a PDF document which it has opened uh, by searching uh, where it is currently present in my uh, system and then I can go ahead and use it so let me go back to our studio so as you can see uh, how easy it is to see the detailed information of all the vignettes that is available to us and then uh, you can go into the vignette and find very very detailed information after this uh, two things I want to show you uh, one thing which you are already familiar of is the R project website here also you have the uh, documentation and all and that is something uh, uh, you will find when I entered help.start either you can find information or manuals from there or you can come to the R project org and explore the website and let's say we want to go into manuals and see introduction to R so this is a ma manual which is available uh, for the beginners and then you have data import export related uh, document installation administration and all these different things which is available to you and after this the last thing I want to show you is the RSeq uh, so RSeq is a website a Google kind of a website in which you can enter terms like correlation I have entered previously and it is showing me uh, the search result only specific to the R so I find it very very useful using the rseek.org and uh, that is something uh, kind of a one-stop shop for me sometimes to find uh, some detailed information about the search term that I'm looking for so this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about this video by utilizing the different kind of uh, uh, or knowing the different kind of help uh, available to us within the R system or the within the R studio and then we can increase our knowledge about the R so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk and uh, thanks for watching this video I will meet you in a new video with a new topic